on your paper. First thing. Get those reading fingers ready. Here we go. Solve the math stories. Complete and label the number bond and the picture number bond. Lightly shade in the solution. Solution is a fancy word for the answer. Here we go, number one. Jill was given a total of five flowers for her birthday. She put three in one vase and the rest in another vase. How many flowers did she put in the other vase? Okay, complete and label the number bond and the picture number bond. So right now there's one, two, three, four, five flowers that she got, right? Five flowers for her birthday, she put three in one vase. So that's the five flowers. She put one, two, three in one base, so we can put three over here, and the rest in another base. Okay. So these three flowers she put in one base. The rest she put in another base. So how many did she put in the other base? One, two, right? So we can draw one, two there, and we can write the number two over here in this number bond. So this number bond shows the picture, this number bond shows our numbers. It says lightly shade in the solution, the answer. So I'm going to just lightly, gently, ever so carefully shade those in. Okay, here's our number sentences. Three plus blank equals five. Three plus two equals five. Those two equal the top one, right? What if we did subtraction? 5 minus 3. We had 5 minus 3. That would be 2 left. Okay, number 2. Kate and Nana were baking cookies. They made 5 heart shaped cookies and then made some square cookies. They made eight cookies all together. How many square cookies did they make? Draw and solve. Well, there's eight cookies all together. Five are heart-shaped cookies. Look at how they flipped this upside down. I wonder why they did that. Probably because they told us these two parts first and then how many all together. So we know that there's eight all together. We know five are heart shaped. So if this is five over here, we better make this the five heart shaped cookies over here. Here's one heart-shaped cookie, two, three, four, five. Okay. So they made five heart-shaped cookies and then made some square cookies, and there's eight cookies all together. So if this is five, let's use that counting on method to get to eight. So right now we're at five, six, seven, eight. 
how many square cookies? Three, right? One, two, three. And then I'll write the number in over here on this number bond. Don't forget down here, we have to write or draw how many cookies there are all together. And keep in mind, five of them are heart-shaped and three are square. So let's make sure we do that. There's my five heart-shaped cookies that moved up there. square. Remember it wants us to lightly shade the solution. It wanted to know how many square cookies. So our answer is this right here to show the square cookies. Not too dark because you don't want to cover up your cookies or your number three. give you a minute to finish the number sentences down here. One of them's addition, one of them's subtraction. Turn it over and we're going to do the other side. If you're not done yet, that's okay. Stay with me. You can always come back and finish this. Here we go. Let's read those directions. Solve. Complete and label the number bond and the picture number bond. Circle the unknown number. Here we go. Bill has two trucks. His friend James came over with some more. Together, they have six trucks. How many trucks did James bring over? Okay, let's have those two be Bill's two trucks. We're going to box it in because we have to make a picture number bond. His friend James came over with some more. Okay, so Bill has two trucks. Together they have six trucks. One, two, three, four, five, six all together. So two went over here, right here for Bill. And the rest his friend James brought. So if these two were Bill's, then how many did James bring over? Two, three, four, right? One, two, three, four. Kind of flipped it upside down, but that's okay. This is good practice. So, how many trucks were there all together? Together they have six trucks. How many did Bill have? Bill has two trucks. Okay. And then this was the unknown. Right here. This is the unknown. Let's 
telling us to circle the unknown number, right? So that's right here. So how many did James bring over? Four, right? So Bill's two trucks plus Jane's four trucks equals six. Or we can do six trucks minus Bill's two trucks equaled four trucks that James brought. James brought over four trucks. It repeats itself a lot, doesn't it? That's okay. It's good practice. Okay. Last one. Jane caught five fish before she stopped to eat lunch. After lunch, she caught some more. At the end of the day, she had nine fish. How many fish did she catch after lunch? Well, she caught five fish before she ate lunch. After lunch, she caught some more. At the end of the day, she had nine fish. So that tells us how many all together. So here's the one, two, three, four, five fish that she caught before she stopped to eat. Here's our unknown. I'll make this dark because it says after lunch she caught some more. So this is the, the more she caught. We have no idea yet how many that was. So I'm gonna kind of darken it up so that we know that we don't know this one yet. And then at the end of the day, she had nine fish. So all together, these and these make nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Are you with me? Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to kind of chop it off right here. Those five were the ones she caught before she stopped to eat. Which means these ones are the ones she caught after lunch. So how many did she catch after lunch? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, your job now is to put the picture number bond into numbers, into a number bond, into an addition sentence and a subtraction sentence. And then don't forget this part right here. Jane caught blank fish after lunch. Remember that's our unknown part. We don't know this part right here. They didn't tell us. We had to figure it out. Okie dokie. When you're done, put it in the done tub. If it's time to switch before you're done, it goes in the to be finished tray.